Okay, I'm going to look at the arc2 method in the uh, JavaScript Canvas uh, library here. And so uh, what I have set up for us already is a couple of, uh, couple of lines, a vertical line and a horizontal line. These are just going to be guides that I'm going to kind of use to help explain the arc2 method. Uh, if you're not familiar with uh, what I've done here already, um, I do have some videos out there that you can, you know, see uh, to set up Canvas and, and set up JS Fiddle as well. So, um, okay, so let's go ahead and start with the begin path. And so what I'm going to do with begin path is because I had these lines set up here before, um, I want to make sure that I'm starting with a brand new clean path to work with. And I'm also going to set the stroke style um, so that it's a different color than the light gray that I have set up there as well. So uh, that's what I've got kind of started. Now you have to basically in the arc2 method you have to define the two lines that you're going to work with. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my point, my beginning point, right here to the top of this line. So I'm going to go ahead and go CTX move to, and CTX again is just the context of this, um, this JavaScript canvas. Uh, so CTX move to 100, 100, that is the top point. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to now define the arc2, or call the arc2 method. Now inside the arc2 method there are five arguments that are required to fill out the parameter. The first one is the xy coordinate, so we're starting right here 100, 100. The second, or the first two of, of the arc2 is the xy coordinate of the ending point of that line. So because this line's starting here, I'm going to have a vertical line, so the ending point of that line is going to be um, straight down, so 100, so not changing on the x, and straight down 100, 300. So I'm dropping 200 uh, pixels. So that's the ending point of this first line. It also serves as the beginning point of the second line. So the next coordinates that we're going to add in is the ending point of that line. So I'm kind of defining the two lines that are there. So the ending point is going to be 300, 300. The last part of this then is the radius of the curve that uh, this arc is going to be in there. So to begin, I'll go ahead and define it with a radius of 25. Okay. Now, to be able to show it, I need to actually call the stroke method. And then I'm going to, just to kind of clean up all the paths, I'll go ahead and do a close path. So we should have everything in there. Oops, I missed a semicolon on the stroke. Ah, so now if I hit run, you can kind of see what we have here. So let's talk about how this works. Because we started here at the 100-100, that's where the arc2 method starts from. But the arc doesn't actually start until it's needed to become tangent. So a 25 degree radius, it only needs this amount of, of, of um, line here to actually become tangent with the other one. So if I change this, um, the radius to 50, you will see that the, the arc will start a little bit earlier and it will go a little bit longer. So there you go, you can kind of see that it did that. Now it's important to understand though that the arc2 method does not finish out the curve. It only finishes, you know, to the end point of the line, it only finishes the curve until it becomes tangent. So it starts, or, you know, starts the line until it can complete a 50 uh, pixel radius. Well, let's keep going with it. Let's keep making that radius a little bit bigger so you can kind of see what happens. So when I go 100, you can see now it's starting to get closer. Now this is a 200 pixel line, so if I actually make that a 200 pixel radius, it will actually start at the beginning point and end at the ending point. Well, what happens if I make it bigger than 200 pixels? So let's go 250. You can see what it's done is, is that it started at the move to where I started at 100, 100, but it shifts it up or it draws a line until it's that, uh, that point is long enough to complete the arc so that it is tangent between both lines. So just want to really be pay attention to that you may get this accidental little line segment in there. So to, to do that you just need to make sure that you have your move to point at a location uh, that allows you to draw that all the way throughout. Okay so um, I'll go ahead and go back to 100. 
100 and you can see what it looks like. Now, uh, maybe I want to have a complete rounded corner. I want this to go all the way out. So the last thing we would could do on that one is just do a line to to the end of where that line would be, which would be 300, 300. And I can hit run and you can see that it actually completes the curve. Now the arc two method doesn't have to be only on vertical lines or vertical and horizontal lines. It doesn't have to be on right angles. It could be on anything that you would like. So let me draw this line here so that's just a little bit different. Um, let me go up so that it's going kind of uh, up at this direction. So this will be um, over 300 but down 100. So let me show you what that line is going to look like. So there's my there's the, the guidelines that I'm going to work within. So then what I need to do is I need to change. So 100, 300 is the vertical line. And then I'm going to also change the arc to method so that that second line is going up to 300, 100. So that's the line. And I'll keep a radius of 100 just to see what that looks like. And I'm going to get rid of that line, that extra line here, because I'm not going to need that anymore. Okay, so I can hit run. And you can kind of see what it is. So it, there wasn't enough room in here to do a 100 uh, pixel radius. So let's adjust that down to 50. Just let's see what that looks like. There we go. Okay, so now you can kind of see how, how this works. So it started with 100, 100. It needed, it looks like about halfway before it could need, uh, before it started the arc of a 50 pixel radius. And then it stops once it's tangent to the second line. And again, I would just do a line two right here if I wanted to to keep that going. So I'll do that just to uh, show you how that looks again. So that is going to take off from here and I'm going to have it go all the way out to this point, which is 300, 100. And so we can look at that. So there you go. So you can kind of see how we draw that. And let me, um, I'm going to actually um, comment out this, the gray lines up here, the guidelines. So now you can see it completely without any uh, with any of the interference of the, the guidelines here that I put in there. Okay, so that is the arc two method. The arc two method is, uh, helps you uh, draw arcs uh, as well as maybe rounding corners. There's a lot of good uses that you might want to do with it. Okay, um, hope that helps you. Uh, again, always uh, if you, if you like the video, click the like button for us or even subscribe. That always helps us as well. All right, enjoy.